Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a little cooking for you. <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you how to make cloud bread, which if you haven't heard of cloud bread, basically what it is, is it's a gluten-free option of having bread. And I say the term loosely because it is not, it doesn't have any flour in it or anything like that. Um, it's just three ingredients and it's easy to make. It takes a little bit of time, but I think the payoff is worth it. So anyway, here we go to make some cloud bread. Okay, first thing you're gonna need is three eggs and you're also, oh, I used Greek yogurt, but you can also use cream cheese. Um, for a dairy-free option, there's dairy-free yogurts. Uh, cream of tartar and uh, we've got to first separate the eggs here. Um, I'm going to put the whites in the glass bowl and the yolks in the plastic bowl. Okay, and I'm just going to speed this up a little bit for time's sake because uh, I do this the traditional way. Okay, and now we're going to be adding an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar to our egg whites. And this is the part that's a little time consuming. Um, Basically, the cream of tartar, what it is meant to do is just kind of hold the shape of the egg whites. So if you've ever made a meringue or like the meringue cookies or anything like that, you've got to really whip these egg whites into shape. And the goal here is to get these egg whites to be um, like the, the very firm, like stiff consistency. And this takes quite a bit of time. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit as well. Okay, so this is what I mean by uh, really stiff peaks. See how it really holds its shape there? And uh, the cream of tartar really helps with this here. So this is the perfect consistency that we want for this cloud bread. And just wiping off the table. Okay, so for the egg yolks here, this is where we add our yogurt or cream cheese or dairy-free option, whichever you're choosing here. Uh, I feel like a stiffer consistency, so like uh, this Faye brand is the best uh, Greek yogurt that I found because it's a really firm consistency, very similar to cream cheese. Um, and then you just mix this up pretty good and all I'm doing is just blending it until it's uh, relatively smooth. Okay, and the trick too is just make sure that it's uh, beating all the lumps out of the yogurt here, or the cream cheese, whichever you're using, and make sure it's smooth enough for the next step. All right, so if you've ever made angel food cake before, this is a very similar process. What I'm doing here is um, gently folding in the egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. Um, it looks like I'm beating it pretty rough, but that's just because I have it um, sped up a little bit. But yeah, it's uh, you just have to be really gentle with it. You don't want to mix it too hard because you don't want to take all the hard work that you put into your egg whites um, and to make them go flat. So um, this is basically preserving your fluffiness and your egg whites while um, also giving that um, fattiness of the yolk, I guess, in there. <laughs> but anyway, so I have a parchment lined baking sheet and I'm just putting some globs on here and uh, spreading them out into little circular pieces, I guess. To cut. You can shape them however you want. I just did circles. It doesn't really matter. But uh, you just shape them like however you want your bread slices to be. And um, in this case, obviously, I'm just doing circles. Uh, you don't want it to be too thick. Uh, probably about, um, I'd say, half an inch at the most. I think this here is about a little bit less than that, maybe like a, between a quarter and a half. And um, bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes. Here I captured this like after two minutes. And here is your final product. So you should have a little bit of a golden crust on top here. And that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. And um, looks very lovely. All right, so this is the making of cloud bread. And it is a gluten-free option for those that have celiacs because uh, it's basically just egg, cream of tartar, and cream cheese or yogurt. Um, 
if you want to make this into the dairy-free option there's like coconut milk yogurt I, I haven't tried it with this so I'm not really sure uh, because I know that some of those dairy-free yogurts uh, tend to be a little bit runnier than your typical uh, yogurt or cream cheese but I think there's also um, dairy-free cream cheese out there as well but um, yeah it's it does taste eggy obviously there's nothing but or the bulk of this is eggs but it's got a really nice fluffy texture um, I have not tried it in a sandwich yet because all I have is peanut butter and I don't want to put peanut butter on this I want some like lunch meat or something um, but yeah the texture is, is like bread you can freeze this as well so I wrapped mine in parchment paper and just threw them in the freezer um, I would recommend not toasting these because they can um, turn to ash pretty quickly but uh, yeah so here's the final product and if you enjoyed this video just make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like and I will see you next time for another uh, educational adventure <laughs> bye